Welcome back guys. So today we will be continuing graph theorem. So today we will be learning about Brooks theorem. So if G be any connected graph with this like the upper bound must be greater than or equal to 3. So if G is not complete then chi of G is less than equal to del of g so this was the earlier so i just explain this with the help of a diagram so i just drawn the figure so here we'll just demonstrate this property so here the graph contains a complete graph contains a complete graph with five vertices as a subgraph so one two three four five so five vertices are more so therefore chi of g must be greater than or equals to five so this is equation number one and moreover we can see that del of g is equals to five so if you calculate del of g is five so for this subgraph so which is also greater than three so also the graph is complete is not complete as a whole so hence by Brooks theorem so we can say that chi of g must be less than or equals to 5 so from Brooks theorem we can say this so from combining 1 and 2 the only thing that is common is chi of g is equals to 5 so this was all about it so thanks for watching it